Easily offended people on Twitter are now upset at art of the character Gangle from Digital Circus. Making this even more comedic is how the art was posted back on October 23rd, yet just now they found out about it and are now screeching about it. Before we get to that though, quick side note, I'll be live at 3pm Pacific Standard Time on the VTuber account linked in the description if you want to hang out live. And now back to the news. You can see the art here with over 22,000 likes, despite the odd people's offense towards it, by the artist Mercaldo underscore underscore. The angry people are essentially saying it's sexualized and they're offended over the hips that Gengal is depicted with. And I find this especially weird because the way Gengal is depicted isn't even my taste. My taste in women is more like Haruko from Fully Cooly or Yoroichi from Bleach, where their form is more even all around, so to speak. Here's my point, though. Despite that art not being my taste, I'm not offended by it at all. Like, who cares? It's a literal non-issue to me. So I just don't get why they're all mad. It's so overly emotional and extreme and odd. Now let's take a look at some of those comments. You can see one comment here at the bottom with this person saying, Y'all cannot draw! Conversely, however, above that, someone saying the amount of moaning and complaining about this art is ridiculous. What is it with people on Twitter harassing artists who are just living their life? More comments here. It's funny you see a bunch of ribbons with a mask, some down, sparked an art war about body proportions. This looks great though. I don't get the harm in this. Her body shape could be anything since she is a bunch of ribbons in a digital world. Plus the creator of Digital Circus literally does not care if people get freaky over the drawing. This piece is the least problematic thing for people to get mad over. How do you even manage to sexualize a piece of ribbon? What's with artists turning the least sexually attractive characters with a few exceptions into kinky bait? At the top. No, because this is actually impressive. How do you even sexualize a character like this? It's just like a weird passive aggressiveness. That person's also an artist, so you think they would maybe not leave comments like that on other people's art? It probably goes back to this really pathetic thing you occasionally see on Twitter, where one artist will hop on a bandwagon against another artist in an attempt to try and get attention on their profile. This person got called out in their comments for leaving this comment that says, I'm so sick of people drawing characters like this. Not only does it sexualize people with this figure, but it pushes the theory that flat women aren't attractive enough. Except it doesn't do that at all. And like I said already with the points I made about my taste, like, nah, this person's just being weird. Other people saying it's not that deep, I fear. And they really aren't. Only upsetting the OP even more where they said, You're pathetic. Don't go crying when you can't ever get a partner because you can't get yourself out of that disgusting mindset. F off. <laughs> Dude, they're so mad. And that other comment reading, I don't think it's a big deal. People draw what they want. It isn't their job or problem to draw something that makes yourself feel comfortable or not. Here's another tweet defending the art that reads, Is it just me or is Twitter overreacting at this image? Like if anything, they are the ones sexualizing this image. The ribbon shaped to look like a woman's figure. Wow. Like I don't get why this of all things is scaring Twitter right now. And extra props to that person as well, because based on their username and stuff, they also seem to be an artist. However, unlike some others, they are not jumping on a bandwagon of anger against the artist Mercado. Here's someone saying, Porn addict, seriously, no, no bounds. What the heck am I looking at right now? But this person's entire personality, like their entire main personality trait that they show on Twitter, is them thirsting over characters. Like this comment where they say, Smash, I want her, in response to Lois Griffin. Like I've said in other videos, I've noticed that often those who call others porn addicts tend to be the most porn addicted of all. It's yet another case of projection. Now, there's plenty more angry comments I could take a look at. However, I do need to wrap this up here to get ready for the live stream coming up. So thanks for understanding, and I hope you enjoyed this segment. Also, consider checking out the artist Mercaldo for more of their art, and I'll catch you back here on the main channel tomorrow or on the stream today. Have a great weekend.